Hey everyone, welcome back to The Auto Archaeologist. I'm Ryan Brett, The Auto Archaeologist. And today I'm in Michigan looking at a friend's, uh, we're in the upper level of a barn built in 1979. And to say the least, there's a few cool cars. We're gonna start in the corner of the barn and go around, because a lot of these aren't barn finds. Like you can see the DeSoto right here. That's actually a really nice car. But we're gonna start right here with a, it's just a 70 Challenger TA. This is the owner. He's collected these cars through the years and we're gonna go around. And this is his 70 Challenger TA. And Jerry, what can you tell me about the TA? Uh, I, I bought it in 2000. It's a lemon twist with a saddle tan interior, which makes it pretty unique. Uh, I bought it from a guy and the guy I bought it from bought it in 1986 from somebody out in uh, near Iowa and he drove to meet him. And kind of a cool thing is uh, one day I was Googling the VIN, right? J0B. But one day I put in J-O-B and uh, searched that for a little bit. And a, a newspaper ad came out in California. And this car was listed for five weeks in 1970 for sale in California. Really? And I have the copies of the ads. Wow. So this is an original California car then? Yep. Oh, so it's got the emission package and... Yeah, oh, no. Yeah. yeah, we would have yeah, it. Yeah, for the e ECS system. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. So when did you get the car then? 2000. 2000? Okay. And you've been collecting parts, I know, for a long time because I saw it when I was here back in uh, 20... When was I here? 2018, I think? Yep. Something like that. Yep. So, but you've obviously been working on other projects, which is really cool. But this is going to be your next restoration, correct? Correct. Yeah. That's really cool. Well, thank you, sir. I'm going to do a quick walk around. He has, of course, the door panel I need that he won't share with me. But it's a pretty solid car, a four-speed car. He said original lemon twist with a... Saddle tan is like a dark, like a light brown color. And is this the... No, that's a Hemi engine here. Yep. But solid car, which is really cool. And trust me, he's got plenty of parts to put this together. I mean, that I, is that the, I think that might be the air cleaner right there. Yes. Oh, that's cool. But then this is a running, driving DeSoto. Nice car. You see it's got modern aftermarket rims on it. And then it's got a cool header collection. And then these are friends' cars, so I'm not going to touch on them because he's not here. Ooh, a few nice air cleaners. Should uh, take one of them. And then he's he's also big into A bodies, which I'll show you in his next uh, in the next video. But this is really cool. He has a thing for direct connection spoilers. These spo this spoiler that on a I think it's a 71, 72 Demon. This spoiler is aftermarket and was sold through Direct Connection. And he has them on three different demons that him and his family own. But this is cool. It's got a 70 or 71 front end. And he's got all the parts to put these cars together, including this really neat 1969 Plymouth GTX. And you can see the engine is immaculate. I mean, it's just perfect in the engine bay. And then ratty on the outside, which is one of the ways they do it nowadays. Is this a numbers matching car? Numbers matching. It is numbers matching. All right, I got to be careful because I want to show what's over here. 1970 Barracuda convertible. Slant 6 car. Ooh, with air conditioning. Or at least it has an air conditioning dash in it. Reminds me of my 71 Barracuda, but it didn't have air conditioning. My 71 Barracuda convertible. I'll try to get a better view of the front end. Ooh, 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 hold on. My pants are caught. There we go. Don't worry, I just cleaned the paint a little. Ooh, a silver car, red interior. That's a sharp combo. It's also a 410 Dana disc brake car. Too. It's a 410 Dana disc brake car? Jeez. And don't worry, I'm not going to say the, the phrase that everyone doesn't like me saying anymore. And then here, it's not a Daytona, 
but it's a 1970 Charger 500. And in 1970, the 500 was just a low line trim package. It was basically the basic Charger, the 500, then like the SE, then the RT, and then the RTSC. This was a 33 four speed car? Yes. Four speed car, yeah. But you can see he's been collecting the parts to put this one together because he's making it into a Daytona tribute. And then here's the 70 Barracuda convertible. And you can see he has all the stuff to make a shaker hood out of it, of the flat hood. That's pretty neat. And all the spare parts to go with it. And then he also got, it's funny, he doesn't have a 70 Charger RT, but he has the side scoops. Just like me, just collect anything cool. You never know when it's going to come in handy. And then we got exhaust manifolds, heads, Shelton manual, GTX parts. I love looking. Like It's like, where's Waldo? Oh, and he's dropping in a third gen Hemi. 6.1, with if, it's, if that's the original intake. Yes. Is it, is it is a 6.1? Yes. Ooh, that will be fun. I need one of those tan caps right there. Someone go distract him. But, uh, I mean, what's in your barn? That is a lot of fun. Then I'm going to show you in the next video what we pulled out. I visited Jerry on my way through Michigan. And unfortunately, I didn't have a time to document everything, like the six-pack Roadrunner that he's restoring or his son's 71 Demon that he takes autocrossing. I only had the time to really document his barn and the two levels of cars that he thoroughly enjoys. It may look like he's a hoarder, but he's not. Yeah, he has some projects that are in long term, but he's also storing a bunch of his friends' cars. He has probably eight or nine running driving cars at any moment. And I'll show you a lot of those in the next video where the entire lower level where he does a lot of his work is full of cars just put away for the winter. And he said the next time I get out there, we'll be able to take one out and enjoy it. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video from my friend's barn. This is the first of two from, and this was a real recent video. I only shot this about a week or two ago. And, uh, a lot really exciting a lot of really cool stuff i was very nice that the owner allowed me the opportunity to document his 1979 barn building thing full of cool cars and parts i wish i had more time i was traveling somewhere so it didn't work out as well as i'd hoped but i got home sunday night from that adventure and it was a multi-day thing through michigan so uh today has been absolutely beautiful it was in the almost 80 degrees out so I spent most of the day out here working on the green car. Uh, you can see I was putting some, actually I was going through the trim. Because a lot of my trim has little dents and such in it. And I didn't have anything really else to work on. So I was just going over it and seeing if I could push some of them out and maybe do something. But as of right now, it's not looking great with the tools I have. So we'll see. I'm going to work on it. Um, other than that, I'm getting ready for next weekend is the Mopar Swap Meet at Foxview Lanes outside of Milwaukee. I'll be there just walking around, hopefully buying some stuff. Dropping off my grill, which is right there. Whoop. My friend's going to fix the end. And then the weekend after that is Jefferson Mopar Swap, or Jefferson Swap Meet in Jefferson, Wisconsin. I will be there in building number two. I'll be selling books and other odds and ends. I got parts, extras for the Challenger. Uh, I got a set of Hemi rods, which are over here. And uh, some good stuff, I hope. So I will see you all there. If you have any comments or questions or any ideas how to, uh, any good tutorials on how to fix this trim. Because here, hold on, let's see if I, you can see, oh, there's a bunch of dents in it. So, and unfortunately, all the trim, this is the SE trim, and all the little holders have rusted off. So, got to find new ones of those. I guess I, there's some GM ones I could substitute, but I haven't gotten that far. Let me know what you think, of course, in the comments below. Oh, of course, my social media is there. Otherwise, I'll post the next video on Monday. I'll see you all soon. Stay safe.